Today we wanted to talk to you about our New Year's resolutions, how they could affect us and what we want to do, how they could affect you and bring you some benefits, uh, and how they could help charitable organisations and your local cricket clubs as part of the wider cricket community. Obviously, reviewing cricket equipment is our bread and butter, so some of the bats that we have in at the moment that we're going to be reviewing include the MRF bat that you see at the bottom, uh, the AMP, which is a new model from Salix at the top, on the left, an SF Players Edition bat, and then on the right, an SS Super Select. But we also have a vast amount of cricket equipment that we've accumulated uh, that we will want to get rid of so we're going to make it so you have an opportunity to win all these things that you see on screen uh, we've got a number of GM bats on the right including a Ben Stokes player edition uh, on the top left side you see an Alex Hales player edition uh, some other SS bats a couple of SS super selects which are the top of the range bats from SS uh, a bunch of lower cost bats on the lower left side um, but all really good just uh, happen to not be that expensive and then other things like thigh pads, um, cricket pads, um, cricket bags and cases and things. So we've got a lot of stuff to give away this year. We also want to do what we can to help various charitable organisations um, that have some kind of connection to sport and cricket, like the ones that you see on screen now. Um, I think they've been through a really tough time in terms of fundraising over the last year. Um, so, yeah, we just want to see if we can give something back to help them. And of course, what is dear to our hearts are our local clubs, the clubs that we play for. You know, not the giant grounds like Lords, as you see on the left, more like the local clubs that you see on the right. Um, they really need our support this year. Um, I think financially, so many have been decimated and there's such a massive concern that clubs will fold uh, without additional funding. So it's all well and good saying we want to help everybody with all these things. The question is, how can we do it, do it in an effective way that everybody gets um, some kind of benefit from it? Um, we are all looking for that win-win situation. Um, and we've been racking our heads and we've had suggestions from various people and um, I guess this is the suggestion that we've come up with. And that suggestion is raffles. We want to hold raffles and lots and lots of them. Um, and we're going to explain now exactly how we think it will work, how it will benefit you, how it will benefit everybody that we've mentioned so far in this video. So for us to be successful at My Cricket Gear over the next year, we're going to need to review a lot more things, and not just things that we like, they're going to have to be things that you guys will all like. So we're going to have to expand exactly what we're going to be reviewing. Last year we reviewed about 150 items, this year we're looking to review a lot, lot more. And here are some of the items that we think you might be interested in. So, yeah, items like the ones you see on screen. Uh, on the right hand side you can see from India, the Moonwalker pads that people like Jason Roy wear, the new Super Select um, wheelie duffel bag um, from Australia, things like the New Balance GC1500 bat, which is exclusive to Greg Chappells, as well as the exclusive uh, Gun & More custom bats, which um, are for Australia only. Um, the Triple X bat model from Grey Nichols, also made in Australia. Uh, things like the Laverham Woods signature bat, which is unbelievably expensive, but that would be so cool to be able to get that in. Uh, Grey Nichols Legend pads, um, the Newbury Renegade bats, a new model coming out. So there are lots of things that we want to get in, and obviously, um, like we've mentioned earlier, we want to be able to give you an opportunity um, to win all of these things. So how do we help you guys to win these things? How do we make it fair? How do we make it accessible for everybody that's following us on the channel? Um, well, these are the things that we're going to do to hopefully make it easy for everyone. First thing we're going to do is use an outside company to host it, a company that has the expertise to do it. 
Uh, we don't really want to interfere with the process. We just want to know who's won and be able to send out the prizes. So we've, uh, we're going to be working with a company to make sure that's done properly. The second point is about making sure we have reasonable odds for people joining. So we're looking at more like the 150 to 1 and up as opposed to the tens of thousands to 1 that lots of private companies are doing. You know, we want to be fair to people who are taking part in terms of their chances to win and also obviously try and raise as much as we can for um, charitable causes. So um, there will only be a fixed number of tickets that you'll be able to find out on the website for the raffle and then you'll be able to take it from there. Um, and as soon as those um, tickets have been sold, um, then the raffle draw will happen straight away. So they won't be hanging around. Uh, as soon as we filled up the number of tickets for that particular raffle, the draw will take place immediately. And the last point, and probably the most important one, is anybody in the world can enter. There are very few items that we won't be able to ship overseas, um, but anybody in the world will be able to enter. And um, the shipping for almost all the items, including things like bats, uh, will be completely free. So if you put up a pound and you win a bat, uh, then you will get to enjoy free shipping to wherever you are in the world. So we think that hopefully should incentivize people to want to take part. Okay, we're not interested in making any money from this. So half of all that profit that we are able to get from the raffle tickets will be going to those charitable causes that we mentioned earlier on. And if you have any uh, cricket related charities that you would like to see us supporting, then please do uh, drop us a message and we'll be happy to add them to the list um, because we want to help as many as we can. So with each of the raffles, some of them have multiple prizes. The person who wins the first prize will also be able to choose the charity or local cricket club for the remainder of the profit to go to. So we're talking about half the profit going to uh, charitable causes and the other half potentially could go to your local cricket club. So we hope that that will be, um, again, some interest for people that are listening. Um, and would be interested in supporting their own cricket club as well as uh, winning um, certain pieces of cricket equipment for themselves. So what can you do to help? Well, you can go to the website raffle.com slash mycricketgear and have a look through um, some of the raffles that we've already put on there. And if you're interested in joining any of the raffles, then please do purchase some raffle tickets. Um, please share it with other people that you think might be interested. Um, we want to get the reach as far as possible for it. Um, if you have any suggestions about how we can improve things further, then please do um, you know, contact us and let us know. Um, we're always open to sort of suggestions and recommendations on how to improve things. Um, yeah, we're just trying to do what we can, um, just trying to help out. Um, for us, I guess the benefit is, is that we'll be able to get more cricket equipment into review to share with you. Um, and hopefully you'll see the benefits for yourselves and your local communities as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If there are any questions, yeah, drop those in. Uh, any of the items that will be in our raffles, we'll start doing some live videos going through the actual products. So um, you'll be able to see them close up. You'll be able to ask me questions about them. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to give you answers to everything that you do ask. Um, yeah, so thanks for listening to this, and um, yeah, hopefully you are able to support us with this campaign.